What's going on everybody? Your amigo Nico here at Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas. Today we have one of our most popular floor plans. This is gonna be the 2024 Forest River Alpha Wolf 26 dbh if you're familiar with the great wolf 26 dbh this is pretty much an identical floor plan that has an upgraded construction if you want the aluminum frame and fiberglass exterior with better insulation now we're going to go inside and check it out welcome inside the alpha wolf 2024 26 dbh we have the slide closed now this is absolutely one of the most accessible rvs when you have the slide closed so all your controls are conveniently located right here at the entrance. So if you want to pull over at a rest stop, wherever you want, if you want to have lunch, take a nap, this is an ideal unit for that. So this is the brain of your RV. This is where you control the lights, the slide, the awning, your tankless water heater, the voltage for the solar that's on board. And then you can also monitor your cameras from here as well. So we're going to go into the master. Just want to show you if you want to pull over and take a nap, you can easily get inside of here. You have power on both sides of the bed. If you're connected to main power, you can access your clothes as well. Overhead storage here. And then also you can access your storage underneath the bed easily. They have also added these hydraulic strut assists to give you extra lift to make it much easier. And then right around this way, we have the TV. We have the fireplace. This is gonna be the slide here. So if you wanna come in and have a picnic, take a lunch, you can easily access your sofa. The dinette is in the bed mode. We'll show you how that goes up. If you have propane power, you can cook on the stovetop and the oven. If you turn your water pump on with the 12 volt system, you can also run your sink as well, flush your toilet, take a quick shower. You have access to your fridge as well. This is a new design. So it actually opens on both sides. So once you close it here, you can open it here on this side as well. Pretty neat, that's a new design for us. You can access your freezer too right below. Here you have your thermostat. If it's cold outside, you can turn your furnaces on, your furnace on as long as you have propane. Access to your pantry as well. This is gonna be the door that separates the bathroom. If your kids wanna take a nap too, or your friends, your family, you can easily access the two bunks here and storage below. You can also open up the uh, storage underneath the dinette as well. And then you can easily get to the bathroom from the inside, but we do have a second door on the outside that we'll show you here shortly. So now you can see how huge of a difference having the slide out makes it. If you're looking for a half ton towable bunkhouse that can sleep up to nine, this is a perfect one. It's 31 feet, eight inches total length and weighs less than 6,400 pounds empty. So here in the back, we have two super comfortable teddy bear mattresses. They're super thick. You also have a window above for natural light. Right here, we have a light that you can turn off and on individually. And then right around this way, we have power and USB on the top bunk. And then it's a little bit different setup here on the bottom, but you still have the same features on that bottom bunk. And then another great thing about our bunk houses is that this floor plan includes a ladder. It's a small detail, but it's amazing how many bunk houses out there don't have it. Small features like this make a huge difference. And the great thing about Cherokee, we're the number one selling travel trailer in America. So you're gonna have way more built-in features versus other brands. And then this easily stows right back in like so, if you wanna bring your slide in. We also have privacy curtains as well. If you wanna take a nap during the day, it'll help black it out a little bit. And then we also have storage right below this bunk as well. And then once we get to the outside, we'll show you how that works too. So here we have the slide that takes up pretty much the whole living area in this camper. Really unique thing about the slides on this RV is that we have two windows that open for cross ventilation. It's early March, we're almost 90 degrees inside this RV, but we have the main windows open. And then one other thing I wanna point out about this specific one is that you also have a window on the wall of the slide right here as well. A lot of manufacturers don't offer that because it costs more, but with Cherokee, we're gonna provide you the absolute best value for your dollar. Another great thing with the Cherokees is that we have these zebra shades. So you can either black it out or let sunlight in. And that is, that is how it works on the majority of the large windows on this floor plan. So here we have the U-shaped dinette. This is gonna be the preferred dinette in the RV industry. It offers more seating. And then we have it in the bed mode now, so you can easily sleep two adults here. And let me go ahead and show you how it works when you wanna convert it back into your dining. So these will just drop right here for backrests. The tabletop sits on a platform right here, if you can see that. It does have Velcro, so it'll stay in place. This is where the two devices that hold the feet are. And then here on the 40 inch drawers, let me show you how long these drawers are. So this goes all the way back to right here. 
You can easily put, put your legs in the storage or put them underneath the table. So let me go ahead and grab one. So now we just set it right in here. Set this one right in here. We'll go ahead and close our drawer. Here we have the tabletop. It's pretty lightweight, but sturdy. This drops in just like so. And now you have a dining table, plenty of seating for family and friends. If you want to enjoy a meal, play a card game, board game, whatever you want to do. And then right down the way right here, we also have a trifold couch. It's super comfortable. You have removable armrests right here. They pull out just like so. We'll set these right over here. And then this also converts into a bed. This is what's known as a jackknife sofa. So you just lift the front. You can see that you do have a little bit of storage underneath because it sits on a platform style. So you can put blankets and things like that. And this just folds right down like so. So you can easily sleep one, possibly two on this couch as well. And then when we wanna bring it back, it just goes down like so. And that's gonna be it for the slide here on this Alpha Wolf 26 DBH. Alrighty, so here we have the entertainment center on this 26 DBH. It's located right next to the entrance. One thing I wanna point out real quick is that we have actual privacy doors. A lot of other floor plans are gonna have those pocket doors. We'll show you why that's important on the other side. But you have real doors on both sides. It's easy to get in and out. We did order this one with a large TV that is included, all hooked up, ready to go. Our service department does program it to our local channels as well, so it's ready to go right away. This is gonna be the Bluetooth receiver. So if you can see right here, we have a zone one button that's gonna control the inside and zone two button at the bottom, that's gonna control the outside. So if you would like, you can play both at the same time or do each one individually. But it's a Bluetooth connection, super easy to hook up. We have a shelf here for extra storage. If you wanna put a DVD player, whatever you'd like, more storage below here for media. And then right here, they have now moved this. This was previously located in the master, but we have a dock for a Bluetooth speaker you can purchase as an accessory. If you wanna look it up, it's gonna be the Driven DR8 BTS speaker. That's gonna be available on the Driven website. And then right below, we have a fireplace. So this is your secondary heat source. Your main heat source is gonna be the propane furnace. Now, the important thing about the Alpha Wolf that's different about some of our other models being the high end is that the whole underbelly is heated and enclosed. So when your furnace is on, it pushes forced air into the underbelly to prevent your tanks from freezing. So what we recommend is to set your uh, furnace to a low temperature, it'll take the chill out, and then to save on propane, when you have main power, you can operate the fireplace. If you just want some mood lighting on movie night, you can also turn that on as well, change the different colors and not have heat during the summer, but you can also do dual function as well if you would like. And right below down here, we have a built-in vacuum for super easy cleanup. The hose is an accessory, but when you're on main power, you just turn it on, and then we have this little device right here. You can just sweep it right in. It makes cleanup super easy. So here we are back at the control panel. Just want to explain more in depth how this works. So this is the Cherokee total control panel. It is backlit. So what's great about this is that your fresh tank is at empty. Your black tank for your toilet is at empty. Your gray tank for your sink and your shower is at empty. This automatically registers where it is up to full. You want to go ahead and dump these when you're at about two thirds. You can also see where your battery is from low to charged. You can also connect the panel with Bluetooth with this button here. This is going to be the 12 volt water pump. So if you're off grid like we are right now, if you have water in the fresh tank, you can circulate water with more pressure. This controls the living room lights. If they don't turn off with this button, they turn off and on individually. These are the exterior lights right here. These are the interior lights right here. And then you can extend and retract your awning here and also bring your slide in and out. Right above the control panel, we have an actual voltage meter that shows you where your battery is at. We're at 11.7. If you're hovering around 12 volts, that's good. This is prepped for a total of four cameras on the outside. So if you purchase it through our parts department, you can dock your monitor right here and watch all your cameras from this monitor. This provides 12 volt power. This is the thermostat for the tankless water heater. Our service department has been turning these off to prevent them from burning up, but you can power it on and select your temperature. It has an animation that shows you the uh, thermostat actually working or the water heater actually working, but you can set whatever temperature you want. And as long as you have propane, you always have hot water on demand. So here we are in the kitchen of the 26 DBH. Absolutely phenomenal size, has everything that you need and more. If you notice when you turn the lights off on the panel, these did not turn off. You just have a little button right here. These are all LED, super power efficient, super energy efficient. We also have an LED light right here as well. And then here we have overhead storage too. 
right below here we have the window on the outside the outdoor kitchen door is covering it right now but this does open up for ventilation and for fire safety we have regular blinds in the kitchen that is uh, regulated by the rv industry and then right over here we have the kitchen faucet so this is a high-rise residential style faucet it gives you more space to work here in the sink you can also pull it out as well it has dual functions with the sprayer and then we also have a new cup washer built in just like you might have at home so it makes it easier to wash dishes so you can spend more time enjoying your camping adventures with family and friends now this has been a uh, staple of the rv industry we call this a doohickey that's a technical term so if you want to dry dishes it just sits right up top right here and then a cool thing, we've had this for a few years now, but the Alpha Wolves are now also including these extra drainers as well. So for your vegetables, for your utensils, everything else like that, you can just set it up right here. And then we have this larger one as well that can catch debris. And then we also have this lid here as well too. But this is a one piece undermount stainless steel sink. Many RVs use plastic in here. This is much more sanitary, easier to keep clean as well. So this is gonna be a standard feature on our newer Cherokee lineups. Right over here, we have drawers for utensils. These are divided out right here. More storage below, more storage below here. And then right over here, we have the microwave. This is a residential power. It will very quickly and evenly heat food. Right below the microwave, we have the range hood. It has a super low profile, so it gives you a ton more room right here in the stove and oven. So you can just have a light on, you can turn it off, you can have the fan on as well, so you have that three-way switch there. Another nice thing about this floor plan is this has a real backsplash. A lot of RVs just have wallpaper, but this is actually, you can see on the side, sticks out further from the wall. And then right over here, we have the insert for the stovetop. So while it's cool, you can meal prep, gives you extra counter space. Whenever you're ready to cook, you can roll it back. And then this will protect your white backsplash as well. Don't want any spaghetti sauce on there. And then here we have the rear two burners for simmering, front one for boiling. A great thing about the design on our Furion stove and oven is that this is gonna be your igniter. So you don't have to light the stove manually with a lighter and you don't have to light the oven manually either. So now you can also see that we have the night lights and then we have the light in the oven as well. So you can switch those back and forth like so. Right below, this is the return for the furnace. We saw the fridge briefly on that initial video, but let me just show you again if you didn't get a good look at it. So this is gonna be an all electric fridge over the past couple of years. This is what all of the, pretty much the whole RV industry is going to at least 80% of the market. So you're gonna have way more interior space. It cools down much faster because it has compressor based rather than ammonia drip as RVs have always had in the past. You can press and hold the, uh, for five seconds to turn it off. You have your alarm notification there, different couple of different notifications. You can see your temperature, you can set it wherever you want and you have uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius as well. You can also switch from your fridge and freezer here. And then let me just show you one more time. Oh yeah, and I forgot, we also have a little crisper here as well. So really getting more of that residential style feel with this style refrigerator. So now we can make sure this is closed all the way on that side, and then we can open it from this side as well. This is a cool new design that we just got available on some of our units. And if you notice the frost here on the fridge, it's already cooling down super fast. We've only been out here for about 20 minutes with the battery on. And then right below here, we have the freezer. So plenty of space there. You do have a little extra storage rack here as well, which is great. Keep your most desired items up top. And then right below you have easy access um, to the converter and breaker box. So to open this, you just press the button It'll drop right down and then you have all your breakers. So what I would recommend is if you have any troubleshooting items, just check here first. And then we also have fuses as well. So if the light is red, that means it needs to be replaced. And then here you can see that these are pretty much all 15 amp fuses on this particular coach. And then right over here, as we were talking about the furnace, this is a ducted furnace. Some RVs will have them in the floor, but this goes throughout the unit. Uh, we'll show you a couple of different spots where these are located, but it's super powerful. We'll keep this unit nice and toasty as we're going to be getting into the uh, or coming out of the cooler season. So here we have the pantry, plenty of storage. I like that you have so much room between them. So for cereal boxes, large boxes, things like that, you're going to have more room here, room on the bottom. This also works with a magnet as well. So it'll stay closed while you travel. Pretty strong magnet. Um, here we have the thermostat for the AC. I forgot to mention, this does have a second AC. We'll show you that in the master. But if you wanna operate the furnace on 
uh, off grid, you can do that. And then uh, if you have main power, you can turn your AC on, but this is gonna work just like a home. The main AC will turn off and on with demand. And while we're talking about the thermostat, let me show you the main unit on this coach. So this is gonna be the main AC that stuck throughout the whole unit. If it's really hot outside, everybody's here in the middle, just go ahead and open this vent right here. And you can see that it opens up and all the cold air will drop right down here. But if you want it to be a little bit quieter, if you wanna circulate throughout the coach, you can go ahead and close it. You can see that we have an AC vent here. We have an AC vent right here. We have an AC vent right here. And cool thing with this style too, is you can also rotate them as well. So if you have somebody on the top bunk that's hot, you can rotate it and it'll push the air uh, more to this side as well. So this is gonna be the kitchen area and the pantry on the 26 DBH. Welcome to the master bedroom of the Apple 26 DBH. So this is the second AC we were talking about. This is dedicated to the master bedroom. You can put whatever power that you want here, adjust the thermostat. You can also open it the quick dump as on the other one as well. And just wanna note, even if you don't have 50 amp power, have two ACs working, there's an AC vent right above right here. So this will also cool the master if you don't have 50 amp power. And the reason why I pointed out the doors uh, when I was on the other side is that with a lot of RVs, they're gonna have those pocket doors to where whenever they're closed, you can't, you have to take your TV off. So with this one having the real privacy doors, you can mount a TV and every time that you travel, you don't have to worry about removing it with those pocket doors because they're gonna come in right here. And then also for your wiring, it's nice and neat. You can run the wires through here as well to hook them up to your TV. And then I just wanna show you that you actually have walk around space in this model. With some other RVs, the mattress is gonna be right up against the partition. But with this one, I can actually walk over and we can see here now the ward for hanging clothes. We can see the drawer here for whatever you need. I'm gonna go ahead and close these because you also have a nightstand here for food and drinks. This is a unique style power setup. So you have a regular wall outlet. You have USB-C below and USB-A, and it also has adjustable voltage as well. And if you want more information on this, this is the Driven DR150 PSI. It's 150 watts. So we'll just place this here. And then now we'll walk back over to this side. So we have an identical ward over here to the one on the other side. We have an identical drawer as well, same nightstand. And then this side, instead of having that power system, we have a USB-C here, USB-A and wall outlets here. Now we wanna show you the overhead storage. So you have a total of three compartments overhead, really great use of space. And then you also, right below, have these individual lights. So you can turn each one off and on as you wish. And then last thing for the master, we're gonna show you underneath. So as we saw before, this lifts up and now you can really see it. That uh, little cutting board as well is part of the sink accessories. This is how they ship them in, but this is the storage. And then also the nice thing too, you don't have to lift the bed. They've now adjusted it to where they have the cutouts, which is really easy to access. So you don't have to lift the bed if you don't want to. So we wanted to show you from the outside, a really awesome feature on this 26 DBH. You can walk straight into the bathroom from the outside. So if you're at the beach, at the lake, if you wanna keep your camper nice and neat, but you wanna go into the bathroom, you just walk in right here. Here we have the shower, it's a really great size. I'm right about six feet tall. So with the skylight, that gives you extra headroom. They have this new feature for hanging clothes. So if your guests wanna place to hang clothes while you're not using your shower, this easily detaches. It's got the permanent mounts in there. And then another thing I wanna point out about the shower is that a lot of other manufacturers, they're not gonna have the tub surround we have on our Cherokee. So a lot of them are just gonna have the panel board so this is gonna keep the moisture off of your wall directly because it does surround the whole tub. Here we have the curtain. And then this is the new Oxygenix shower head setup. So here you can see uh, it's gonna be more efficient, it uses less water, higher pressure. It's got a nice rubber grip on it, but this is the new shower head we're using on our 2024s. And then we also have little shelves here as well. Here's gonna be the other hook on the back for the rack. And then here we have the toilet. So nice thing about the Alpha Wolf toilets, it is a porcelain as well, which is high end, much better than the plastic ones available, but that is part of the package that you get with the Alpha Wolves and also the Arctic Wolves as well. So because it is almost 90 degrees outside, we do have this fan open. One thing that we would recommend if you're gonna use this regularly is to get a max air guard that goes on top. So it allows the majority of air to get out, but doesn't allow as much debris and moisture to get in. Great thing about this fan, just want to show you this button right here. So it's actually got four different speeds. So we're on speed one. Here goes speed two. Here goes speed three. Oh, I think I'm out of order here. 
here we are. It's back on speed one, speed two, speed three, and speed four there. So it spools up super fast. You have an off button. And let me show you how to close it real quick. So you just have this little knob right here. We're gonna bring it down and then to lock it in place, you just push it up. So that's gonna be it for the fan, ideal for cross ventilation. Here we have the dedicated medicine cabinet right here. And then right below we have GFCI power. And then we also have a motion sensing light as well. So if you don't wanna necessarily turn your light on, you just need a little bit of light, you can walk in, it turns on with this little sensor right here. Here we have the sink, hot and cold water. Here we have the shelf below for storage as well. And so this will be it for the inside of the Alpha Wolf 26 DBH. Now, for those of you interested on knowing the ins and outs of the outside, we're gonna go ahead and go outside and show you how that works. Alrighty, so here we are outside the 2024 Alpha Wolf 26 DBH. Just wanted to talk to you about the power tongue jack. So some other RVs you're gonna to have to hand crank to raise and lower. This one includes the electric tongue jack, which is about a $500 value. So you just press and hold to uh, bring it up and down with this button. This light right here allows you to hook up your connections easily early in the morning and late at night. I think we're gonna get rained out on this one. Okay, everybody, so we got interrupted by a little shower here. So back to the power tongue jack. Some RVs have a hand crank. This one has an electric jack. Just press and hold this button, it goes up and down. We also have the light in front, so you can see early in the morning and late at night. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your tow vehicle has a seven-way plug like this one here. And then you're gonna make sure you have a brake controller as well for safety. This RV has a two and five sixteenths ball. We also have safety chains in a uh, breakaway in case your RV comes off, it'll lock the brakes uh, with the cable. And then we make sure at Cliff Jones that your propane is filled up. We don't have any hidden freight charges. We don't have any hidden make ready charges like other dealerships. We've been family owned and operated since 1978. We're also members of the Route 66 network. So if you're traveling across the country and even in Canada too, we have locations that'll give you priority service. So we make sure your propane's filled up, do full systems check, batteries pre-installed because we have the juice pack, the solar system. Our technicians will wash it and detail it and also do a full systems check and make sure to give you a walkthrough where we show you how everything works. So that's gonna be it for the front cap. We do also have these blue LED lights that look super great, especially at night. You can turn them off and on like so. So here we are at the main exterior storage of the 26 dBH. This is a full pass-through storage with some other coaches. You're gonna have the water heater on the other side so that takes up a lot of space. This one goes all the way through. You can see right here as well, we have the solar controller. It shows you your voltage meter. Also motion sensing lights so you don't need a flashlight to access your belongings. And just wanna talk real quick about the doors on this particular coach. So they're thicker than most. They're slam baggage as well. And then you also have magnets instead of clips, really easy to open with one hand and you don't have to worry about clips becoming brittle and breaking over time as with others. And then one other note while we're here, it does have a prep for four cameras outside, one on the running light on that side, one on the running light on this side, and then we'll show you the others as we go. Right over here, we have the leash latch. If you wanna bring your four-legged friends along, you can keep them tethered nearby. And then we also have electric stabilizer jacks on this unit as well. So you just press and hold and they will go up and down. And it's just one button for the front and one button for the back. I wanna show you real quick, while we're right here by the window, these offer a solar tint. So when the sun hits them, it has a mirrored finish. So this gives you more privacy and energy efficiency. Right over here, we have the large electric awning with blue LED lights. This is full extension. So you have plenty of coverage when the sun is out on a day like today. And then just wanna show you real quick, above the main entrance, we have a security camera right here. So you can have one on the back, one above the door, and then two on the front running lights. This is gonna be the main entrance. You can see that we have a tempered glass finish here. It looks super sharp. And another great thing about this particular style door is that it has a window from the inside. Now, if you want additional storage, we have the thin shades available in our parts department. We also have a screen door to keep mosquitoes out. And then if you wanna adjust your steps, it's super easy. These just fold right into the door. And then you have these little pins right here that you can pull and raise and lower them as you need. If you have them set up properly, there's not gonna be any give. They're super strong because the feet touch the ground. And then we have an extra long and extra low door handle. So it makes it easy for people of all ages to get in and out. And then you can also fold it back towards the out ki outdoor kitchen as well. So here we have the outdoor kitchen. You have a compact fridge for easy access to food and drinks. If you want some extra refreshing drinks, we also have an ice maker here as well. Here we have the spray port for a cold water shower. We have a two burner cooktop out here that works on propane, non-plumb sink. 
And then right over here, we have the range hood vent. This does vent outside, as we saw in the kitchen. We also have marine grade speakers. So you can play music just inside, just outside, or both. We also have blue LED lights that match the rest of the exterior LEDs. If you want to catch the game in the great outdoors, we also have coaxial connections here and power here as well. This is a dual axle RV. It does have upgraded wheels to match the rest of the aesthetic of the coach. These are also 15 inch tires for better towability. And then on your stem caps, you also have these little monitors. So as long as you're green, you're good to go. If it's red, you need to go ahead and add a little bit more air into your tires. So coming back down this way, we saw the secondary entrance for the bathroom, but this just leads right in. It has the same steps. This is a huge thing on some RVs that may offer the upgraded steps. You might have them on the main entrance, but you're probably not gonna have them on the back. With Alpha Wolf and Arctic Wolf, you get the upgraded steps on both sides, which is about a $2,500 value. And then you do have a door handle here as well. Working our way around the coach. We have the backup camera prep here as well. Forest River has now gone to the Lippert on-the-go ladder setup, which in my opinion, I really prefer. With some of those ladders, you have your screws in the sidewall, and if they become loose when you're on there, that's not what you want to happen. So with this new style ladder, it actually extends down and touches the ground, so it's much more stable. Right over here, we have the cargo rack on the back. This is rated for 200 pounds total. So for bikes, ice chests, generators, things like that, that will work great with this setup. We also have a full size uh, tire, spare tire as well for safety. And then speaking of safety, we also have the LED tail lights. They're much brighter and therefore much safer and they'll practically last a lifetime. Here we have the bumper, really great spot to put your sewer hose. That way you don't have to keep it inside of your RV. This is gonna be the tankless water heater as well. As I was saying, our technicians have been turning them off just so we don't actually burn one up. And then if you wanna turn it on, it's just that button right there. Closes like so. And then right over here, we have the convenience light outside so you can see your connections. Here we have the cable prep and satellite prep. As we were talking about inside, if you wanna go off grid and circulate water, you have this fresh tank fill right here. We also have city water connections. If you have a water hose at an RV park or a property, this will give you continuous water. Just make sure you use a water pressure regulator to protect your plumbing. And then right here, we have the black tank flush as well. If you want to go ahead and get more accurate tank readings, reduce smell on the inside, as long as your black valve is open, you can hook up the water hose and it cleans out the tank for you. We also have a second outdoor shower here. This offers hot and cold water. This is gonna be storage underneath the bunk as well. And then on this coach, what's really nice is you just need one sewer hose. So your termination point is here. You have your gray valve for your sink and shower, black valve for your toilet as well. So you don't need a Y connection, extra accessories, things like that for your connections. And one thing I like to point out on the Alpha Wolf slides is that these are hard sided, better insulation. Some RVs you can push and just feel them give, but not with the Alpha Wolves. We also have a cable driven slide system on this coach as well, which is a really great slide system. All right, so here we have this other side of the pass-through storage. We do have a battery disconnect. So everything that you saw running today was just running on the battery and the solar panel to run the ACs and the microwave and the fireplace. You will need main power, but just about everything else will work on 12 volt uh, and a TV as well will not work on 12 volt currently in this setup, but uh, pretty much everything else will work on 12 volt or propane. So that's going to be your 50 amp power cord that is included with your purchase. We also have an override for the electric tongue jack, just in case of a worst case scenario. And then we also have a override for the manual stabilizer jacks as well, just in case you need it. Alrighty, everybody, this is the brand new Alpha Wolf 26 DBH. We have it here in stock in Sealy, best prices and best service around. Unfortunately, I can't emphasize enough how we are family owned and operated. It seems with a lot of dealerships nowadays, they're getting acquired by huge corporations. So the likelihood of you actually meeting an owner is very, very low. Our owner is here just about every single day, just like we are. He is located at the dealership. So if there's ever an issue that we can't resolve, uh, you know, here locally, he's happy to do what he has to do to take care of our customers. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and share and comment as well. Thank you so much for watching.